Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Labor Day 2020. Um, if you're working like I am, then uh, thank you for, for working on a holiday. And if not, enjoy your holiday. Let me know what you're drinking down below. Uh, so today we're gonna be shaving with Weekend in Malibu by Sterling. Um, Sterling's labels are very nice, uh, waterproof obviously. And um, yeah, it's just Sterling's price is nice. Their labels are nice, their packaging is nice. You get 5.8 ounces of soap um, in the tubs. So a ton of soap in here. They're tallow based, they have lanolin and shea butter. Just an overall nice package. The scent I get mainly from, from Sterling Weekend Malibu is citrus. It's a very citrus forward scent. The scent notes from Sterling are citrus, vanilla, sandalwood, and lily of the valley. Um, for me, it's just blended so, so well that all I get is a citrus forward scent. Um, it's a very sweet, very sweet citrus scent. So if that's your thing, we can them out and check them out. I've already loaded it here in my Maggard 26 millimeter super high density fan knot. I'm going to wet my face. My little boy scratched me on my nose, so if I look like Rudolph, that's why. And then <laughs> I woke up this morning and here and here, I had two little, um, not fever blisters, but uh, little, I don't know, whatever you call it. So yeah, I've just read all over today. I'm going to go ahead and take off a little bit of this where I've uh, lathered here. For the price, uh, you know, I've been checking out some more vendors or some more artisans, and there are some more that actually can compete with Sterling's price. Um, in the near future, probably within the next month or two, I do plan on getting some of those and presenting those to you guys because I think, depending on the, the shave, you know, if they're tallow based, and I do think that some of them can compare to Sterling and give you guys some other uh, very budget-friendly, yet very superb in quality options. So, all right. But yeah, Sterling has two separate bases. Um, they have their tallow base, and then they also have their, um, uh, it's a mutt tallow base, so it's sheep, sheep tallow. So we are very, very dry here. which I enjoy because you can always add water, but you can never take it away. Sterling isn't a soap that you have to really worry about when adding water though. Um, Sterling takes water very well, both of their bases. So I'm not too worried about adding water heavily or anything. Don't really have too much to talk about for today's shave. I actually had um, another video lined up to be uploaded today, but I completely forgot it was Labor Day. And I completely forgot that I was supposed to be off today. The problem is, we have a lot of clients that regardless if we're off, they still work. Medical facilities, that type of thing. So, it's fine if we don't work and we, we let our clients know that, you know, we won't be working today, we'll be here for emergencies, etc. But as far as like day to day, we're not gonna be here. Well, I had already scheduled to be at some of these places tomorrow or, or last week and um, again not even remembering that it was Labor Day so I shot myself in the foot but it's fine it's it's not gonna be anything too bad as far as the jobs go so all right and I'm not gonna start as when I normally start at 7 a.m. I'm gonna start at 9 
So. All right, brushes loaded, faces loaded. This will be a straight shave. Yeah, he really got my uh, nose good there. Normally we keep little gloves on them. No, not gloves, but you know, like the, the little covers that go over their hands because the, he, he has long nails and we're not supposed to cut them for I think three weeks after birth. Um, so we haven't cut his nails and they're pretty long and sharp, obviously. And uh, we keep his gloves on so he doesn't scratch his own face, which he has done a couple of times too. Um, not bad scratches, you know, stuff that just kind of comes and goes, but. Um, but after, after he was changed this past time, he, uh, he didn't get his gloves put back on. I call them gloves, they're kind of like mittens, whatever. And um, yeah, so I was holding him and then he got me. And I swear he smiled after he did it. His sleep schedule has been kind of weird. Um, like some days we'll get where he sleeps three or four hours at night and then some days he'll like sleep an hour. And it's just so frustrating. Do you guys rinse after every pass? Or do you just kind of like relather? I hate getting soap up my nose, but it does happen. I find that when I face lather, it actually happens more often than when I bowl lather. Because when I bowl lather, I'm basically just putting just putting the blobs on and kind of smearing them around, but when I face lather, I'm actually building the lather and I'm pushing up and getting it in my nose. What I think I may try soon <laughs> with him for not sleeping is when we put him in the car and drive somewhere, even if it's for like 10 minutes, he goes out instantly, like, as soon as he sits in the car seat, and then I put the car in reverse, boom, a light, you know, the, the switch just goes out, and, um, and he's just, you know, he's out, so, what, 
what we've been talking about doing in a joking way, but probably some way that would actually help truthfully is, you know, around 10 o'clock at night or so, um, get him in the car and just basically drive up and down our road a couple times. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll be enough to keep him asleep. Because normally it, it, it is if we get into the car and then drive away. When we get back, it takes him about an hour to wake up. I mean, to fully wake up, we'll take him out of the car seat, put him in the in the crib, and it takes him about an hour. So, Chopped off a bump ahead. For my next shave, I will be using a um, a DE. Just not sure which one yet. Sterling's great also because of the post, the post shape for Sterling is excellent. You know, it has all the butters and lanolin as well. So sometimes with Sterling, I'll just skip an aftershave because in all honesty, you won't necessarily need it. Whew. I don't think I did a, as good of a job on this razor honing as I did with my other one that I uh, put the same edge on. I don't know why that is. Because under the, under the, <clears throat> my little um, jeweler's loop here, they look, the edges look identical under the 60 time loop, but I don't know. There's obviously some difference, right? It's not that it's not cutting, it's just not as smooth, it's not as comfortable. And I could definitely feel it, you know.
Overall, not a bad shave. Not a great shave, but definitely not a bad shave. Go ahead and do my cold water rinse. I mean, I'm not really having any um, any stinging, meaning that I overshaved, but just the process of dragging the, the blade across my skin, I could definitely tell that it wasn't, um, it was sharp, but it wasn't necessarily uh, refined. Razor Rock Triple X, this is a citrus forward scent as well. I bought, I bought the uh, Scott's Pine in the Mutton Tallow and Weekend in Malibu at the same time, but I didn't buy the Splashes, which I regret, but that's fine. If you guys haven't checked out Triple X, it's great. I think you can go and watch many videos of people saying the exact same thing. It's not just me. Triple X smells awesome from Razor Rock. All right, guys, that's the shave. Hope you enjoyed. I've got to get to it, and uh, yeah, see you next shave. Thanks.